hello guys welcome to the code beginners once again we are going to learn in today's lecture that how can we add values in our database like we have some values in database that we have added manually like this like this and like this but now what we want to do we want to add values in this table using C sharp code in spite of adding them manually so for that purpose what we will do we will just have a second form that we have created in the previous video just after the login form alright so what we are going to do we are just going to go to the toolbox and we are going to take text boxes four text boxes here as we have to add four fields so search for text box here there it is just drag and drop it here four times and uh, let's let's copy paste this So we have copy pasted our text fields and now we need label so for that purpose we will go here drag and drop the label here and uh, control C copy paste and there comes label 2 and there comes label 3 and there comes label so now what we are gonna do we are gonna name these labels after these database name names so we will write here EID first first label will be like EID and the second label will be E name and the third variable let's see what it is it's UE username and the fourth is e password so we'll write here e username and uh, <coughs> we'll write here e password all right So after doing that, we'll see what our text boxes name are. So this is text box one. This is text box two. This is text box three, and uh, this is text box four. So now we need a button that will actually insert the value. So after typing our values in these fields, we will press this button of insertion and that will exactly insert the values so what we are gonna do we just name this button so we are going to change its text to insert so for the design purpose let's say just uh, make it a bit bigger and make it a bit bigger too make it a bit bigger and make it a bit bigger too and uh, let's resize and place this button here it will look good so let's say I want to add my image uh, right here from here I want to add an image in my button that OK icon that I have already added in my previous video so it's now overwriting so for that purpose what I will do I will just write there so this is now insert uh, this is something that value is 
so now we are just gonna double click on that button and we'll reach there so now what we are going to do we'll just go there and after windows.forms we'll write here using mysql dot data dot mysql client semicolon and then we will just go back to the design and double click on the button to get back in the exact you know location so that was actually I think was created in the previous time when I dropped a button here by mistake so that is our button to confirm just double click again yes that is so now what we are gonna do we just gonna write here string so s string and uh, that should be connection and uh, we are going to give the credentials about our connection that should be data source is equal to localhost put the semicolon on and then write the port in my case my port is 8080 then username that is root in my case and then password that is root in my case so in the next line what I am gonna do I am gonna write a uh, string and uh, I query because that query is for insert so I have named it as I query so inside this I am gonna write a query for insertion and that should be insert and uh, into database name that is database in my case dot database dot employees that is the table name in which I want to insert I'm just gonna put the brackets on and uh, after after these brackets uh, I'm gonna write something inside these uh, brackets and that should be these EID, e name, e username, and e password. All right. And while I will write uh, the you know column names in this uh, braces, then I'll write your values and another braces. And in these braces, I will give the path where I am required to get the values okay so for that purpose what i'll write here i'll write here e id comma e column name that is basically this e id and e name and now i'll write a username and a password so e username and e password so in the values, uh, what I will write, I will just single colon twice, double colon twice, and uh, plus plus sign. And uh, inside this plus sign, I'm gonna write EID correspondent text box that will take the value for EID. So I'm just gonna write here the this dot the text box name and that is in my case is uh, right here and that is text box one so similarly this is text box two and uh, similarly this is text box three and this is text box four for e password so I am gonna write here this dot text box one mm, 
dot text so it is gonna send the text box one's value to the EID okay so to save time I will just copy paste this and put a comma and then paste this then I will just change this name to the text box too that will correspond to the E underscore name and then I'll put the comma copy paste and just simply change this to text box 3 that is the name of the text box in my case you can have any other name so again after copy pasting I'll change the name to the text box 4 so it is showing me some kind of error so let's see uh, the name uh, yes text box so remember one thing that C sharp is case sensitive so you have to write the name as it is so I have to uh, write the B as the capital one and uh, also B the capital one here and also the B the capital one here and also B the capital one here so we are done writing our query so after that query I will just put a semicolon so don't forget to put a semicolon on and then in the next line I'm gonna write like my SQL connection and uh, giving a variable name as database and uh, new my SQL connection and I'm gonna pass this string of connection right from this my SQL connection so how will I do that I will just write connection in here so after that I will write my SQL command and uh, I'll give it a name as CMD that is a variable name and in here I will you know my SQL command and inside its parameters I will write here query I query to be specific and there I will write data Base that variable name okay so put the semicolon and uh, you are about to deal with my SQL data reader now if you have watched my previous videos then I hope you will be uh, familiar with that so my SQL data reader R so R is basically a variable name for my SQL data reader that I have declared. So now I am gonna make a try catch block. So in my previous videos you have seen that I have created a try catch block for this connection uh, as a whole. But now we uh, our requirement is a bit different. So that's why I am making a try catch block after doing this stuff after connecting this and uh, in this try catch block I will open my connection and that will be database dot I will open my database like this open and uh, this is the database that I have written here MySQL connection database variable name and here database dot open so in the next line I am gonna use the data reader so R is equal to CMD that is basically this CMD MySQL command so CMD dot execute reader so now we are after this thing we are going to uh, display a message box that will show that your values 
are successfully inserted so this will tell us that the values are successfully inserted so we are gonna make a catch block too which will show us that uh, the if if the try block doesn't work then it is uh, gonna tell us the error to be more specific so I will write here message box dot show and inside it I am gonna write here uh, sorry removing these columns I am gonna write here ex dot message so now we are done with our code writing our code and I have explained everything uh, along with so now this is the time to run our program so we will run it and uh, some errors are there so we are gonna see what the errors are so this saying that does not contain a definition for execute reader so something is wrong with this the spelling error so I'll write here execute so now the error has gone so I'll start so I'm gonna log in first and uh, when I log in it is saying login successful and I will be redirected to the next form that is basically uh, for the entrance of data so see there is nothing there is just five employees and if I refresh this there is nothing in database so I am gonna add these values right from this form so let's give an ID of 6 and uh, a name of Kevin and a username of Kevin and let's give it a password as 456 so if I insert this it is gonna tell me values are successfully inserted so let's see if the values are successfully inserted or not so if I refresh this you can see that Kevin value is inserted successfully so this is it for today I hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now